Welcome back to the channel Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us keep the reading of my book Cluter's Mare Pop Beyond the Cloud. Available now on Amazon, click the link in the description to make your order. Today we will finish the reading of the chapter 2. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's go. Continuing chapter 2 Werewolf in Paynham District 12. Then he bent and kissed my cheek lightly. I looked at him questioningly and said, Don't try to mislead. I'm not doing this. I just don't think anything has happened. I continued to look inquisitively at him. It did not seem to be falsehood in his expression. I decided to appeal to the humor to show him that I was really worried, but so as not to pressure him. You're not a werewolf that's starting to change, are you? Laughs. Come on, Mare. He also laughed. Referring to the situation in the movie New Moon in which Jacob is about to turn himself into a werewolf and reveal himself to Bella, it was a way to bring back joy to our conversation at the diner table at the mall. The rest of the afternoon and early evening had passed between us and our friends. We returned to our homes happy with the day of fun. And I expected to already write my text for the blog about the movie Hunger Games. We said goodbye in front of my house and agreed to meet in the next day. Soon the school week would return to the study papers and there would not be much time to enjoy it. As the school year went by, things were getting tougher but I knew I'd prevail. Later that evening, after having dinner with my parents, I sat in front of the computer to write my review. I looked at the blank screen of the text editor and nothing creative seemed to come from my mind to talk about the movie, just a bunch of obvious cliches that would underestimate my readers. I had created so much anticipation with the film in myself and in the blog itself that it was difficult to surprise with something new. When I was about to give up and leave for another day, that voice came back to blow in my mind. Write about the dark future in which young people will be sacrificed in the name of the fun of a useless, rich and insensitive minority. What? I said aloud, for it did not seem like a thought of mine. Katniss represents hope in a fight against oppression. How crazy the voice had answered. It was a familiar voice. Besides being the same one who during the math test had suggested to me to look at Marcos' exam, I had already heard it in a dream in the one where I was in the forest and an adult figure appeared and confronted me for being with Marcos, thinking that he was a kind of particular version of the vampire Edward. I thought I was going crazy. Listening to voices and talking to her in my head, a sudden fear washed over me. On the computer screen with the word processor page still blank, a warning in the corner informed me that a new comment had been added on my blog. I opened the internet browser that went straight to the blog page. I clicked on the new comment. When I read, I felt my eyes widen, for the fear that was before became a frigid dread. It said, Hashtag you're not crazy, dear mare. Accept my suggestion and write about Katniss's fight against oppression in Paynham. P.S. Werewolves and vampires do not really exist, but there are monsters in this world and they are not pretty at all. I instinctively shut the computer down and rushed into the living room to tell my parents what had just happened. I was very scared they welcomed me and heard me but they did not really understand what was happening. For them, it was all my overexposure on the internet, on the blog I also said personal things, and the internet itself, searching and seeing many things freely. And sure enough, to them, the voice in my mind was just imagination. I was a bit annoyed at them for not believing me, but their argument was rational enough to leave me in doubt. I thought about sharing everything with Marcos over the phone, but I thought it best to calm myself down and go to sleep. My sleep was not very calm, as one would expect, and the dreams of fear and my reflection on the film mingled in a continued nightmare. Again I was in a forest, with the bow and arrow armed like Katniss in the film. This time she was surrounded by terrible howls coming from the darkness. I spun around aiming all around but unable to predict which way the attack would come. From above, as if it were an omnipresent sound system in the environment, came a voice that said, We are watching you Mare Pop, you are our hope. The monsters finally attacked from all sides and I could not defend myself. I woke up scared, sweaty and panting. It was the middle of the night and I decided I would get it out of my head. I started to write my review of the movie Hunger Games. I followed the advice of the voice and wrote about the oppression of the totalitarian state of Paynham over the people and Katniss struggle to overcome the challenges of this oppression. 
The monsters, vampires or werewolves were left out, for they were not in the story but they seem to be part of me now. As soon as the text with the critic was posted, the corner of the screen beeped indicating that there was a new comment. Hashtag thank you mayor. Now the fight has finally begun. My eyes widened again but this time I was more intrigued than scared. What fight did it begin? This is the end of chapter 2, next time we will begin the chapter 3 we are all divergent to some point. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.